Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Political Vigilante here in the uh, like a office back room here at the FNX Theater. This lighting kind of makes my face look crazy red. I don't understand it, but this is what we're dealing with. <laughs> um, there's an article by Robert Mackey in The Intercept about talking about um, John Bolton, who was just appointed uh, as the new national security advisor to Trump. Um, what this is so alarming is he <clears throat> has been... Basically, what this is doing is they're saying we're gonna go we're gonna go to war with Iran which goes into we're at the petrodollar um that's what Yemen is about that's what Syria is about ultimately is Iran and Russia are they have a pipeline they want and us and the Saudis want another one so that's why we need to demonize Iran demonize Iran um here's the um what uh Trita Parsi, the leader of the National Iranian American Council, wrote on Twitter, people, let me be clear, the appointment of Bolton is essentially, hold on, a declaration of war with Iran with Pompeo and Bolton, Trump is assembling as a war cabinet. Um, the alarm is understandable. Bolton has not only demanded that the Trump administration withdraw from the nuclear deal, he also previously advocated bombing Iran instead. Um, Bolton has basically been spending the better part of the last decade trying to get America to go to war with Iran, because I'm sure he's paid by the Saudis or the oil companies or both or one of the same. Um, eight months ago, Bolton in Paris told members of the Iranian exile group known as the Mujahideen Khalik or MEK or People's Mujahideen that the Trump administration should embrace their goal of immediate regime change in Iran and recognize the group as a viable alternative. Um, this group is pretty crazy. They're they're kind of like, uh, they're referred to as, as um, well, they helped format, MEK uh, helped format the 1979 revolution, and in part by killing American civilians working in Tehran. The group, then, the group then lost a bitter struggle for power to the Islamists led by the revolutionaries leader Ayatollah Khomeini. Um, with its leadership forced to flee Iran in 1981, the Meek members set up government in exile in France and established a military base in Iraq, <laughs> where they were given arms and training by Saddam Hussein when back when we were backing you know we the cia backed saddam we've got a great lineage in the middle east um as part of the strategy to destabilize the government in tehran that he was at war with the mak has poured millions of dollars into reinventing itself as a moderate political group ready to take power in iran if western back regime change ever takes place See, when we do regime change, we get psychopaths back in power just because they're willing to do business with us. We have done this all over the world. This is what America does. Because, usually because we need some sort of natural resource. Of course, Iran, it's oil, so we're going to back these lunatics um, so that we can get their oil. That's the goal. Uh, here's some, some, uh, the... <laughs> What they've done. The Iranian exiles achieved this over the apparent opposition of then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, in part by paying a long list of former U.S. officials hefty speaking fees between ten to fifty thousand uh, dollars for hymns of praise, like the one Bolton delivered last July. According to Adrian uh, Tabatabai, a Georgetown University scholar, the cult-like dissident group, whose married members were reportedly forced to divorce and take a vow of lifelong celibacy, has no viable chance of seizing power in Iran. Um, and this is what they do. They have had Newt Gingrich appoint, uh, address this parent conference, and it, it's insane what they're doing. So make no mistake, it's more evidence of the Trump administration and is now just having to pick more people that are part of the oil conglomerate and the oil war machine so we just need more regime change so there's going to be more talk but so now north korea is evil but we're going to go back to hearing about how evil iran is and that's why they're all we don't want the iranian nuclear deal or anything like that because peace with iran doesn't give us the ability to just get a new government in there that's going to give us their oil and their access and their geographical access we just need to go in there and do what we've done libya iraq what we're trying to do in syria this is what we do you know, and the, the people we get out of that are in power, they're not, they're never great. And then we're, oh, freedom, justice, American way, and stop terrorism. And then we put in someone that's even worse. I mean, shit, we've been doing this forever. The Shah of Iran was fucking horrifying. <laughs> he was an awful person. Um, and then, you know, he's replaced by 
religious zealots. So not surprising that's what uh, Bolton is put in there for, and uh, the full article is in the show notes below. Thanks for watching, you guys. Support me on the Patreon and everywhere else, and I will keep making Gotham great again.